All right, if you're one of the cool kids, then you might have heard of this new image file format called AVIF. So this is a new web image format that will basically compress your images better than ever before. So you're gonna see a ton of file size savings compared to something like JPEG or PNG, and even more than something like WebP, which is another new modern file format, which already gives you a lot of file size saving over JPEGs and PNGs, but this will probably give you maybe 20 to 30% file size saving even over something like WebP. I also did a video on WebP if you wanna check that out. But right now we're gonna talk about AVIF. So this has been getting pushed by a lot of big companies like Netflix, Google, and Microsoft. And as you can see on this page right now, they're even recommending you to use AVIF images in all your web pages. So in this video, I wanna see if AVIF is actually the future of web images or if it's just a little bit overhyped. So, First off, let's actually see how these look like and how this stacks up to other file formats. So right now I'm gonna use this web application called Squoosh right here, which is a nice image optimizing tool. You can also use something like this, libavif, if you want a command line tool in order to do this. And you can download and build it from the GitHub here, or I think it's in a lot of different repositories. Like I know it's in Homebrew for Mac OS. I know you can get it in the AUR if you're on Arch. But for now, let's just use this. And let me just drop in an image here. All right, so we have this nice mountain range right here. And let me compress this with AVIF. And over here, I will use WebP to compare. So right away, one disadvantage of using AVIF is it does take a while to compress, a lot more than something like WebP. But over here on this end, we have a 72% reduction. So down to 160 kilobytes. And I know you can't see this, so let me also run this in WebP over here. So we have 160 over here, and then WebP is going to be 256. So that's a lot bigger than something like AVIF. I mean, we can take down the quality here because it's not completely fair. This is a little bit better quality than AVIF. But even with the reduced quality, you're still going to see a lot bigger file size savings from using AVIF. So this is 224, and AVIF is 160. So you're probably going to see 20 to 30% file size increases across the board from using something like WebP. But you do want to use this more on photographs. So AVIF is not as good if you want to save something losslessly. Let me just compare something right here. So I'm using the Arch Linux logo because of course I am. And if we change it to AVIF over here, and we also check lossless right here, the original file size was only 120 kilobytes, but as you can see, it has jacked up the file size to 210 kilobytes. So in this case, if you wanna save this losslessly, AVIF is going to do even worse than something like PNG, whereas something like WebP, you're going to see a big reduction. It's going to be 42 kilobytes instead of the original 120. So for these cases, if you're using icons, something like that, then I would use WebP instead of AVIF. I would really only use AVIF for photographs. But I've already showed you the big file size saving that you can get from AVIF. So at this point of the video, you might be sold, you might be ready to convert everything to AVIF and use this in all your websites. But there are a lot of caveats that you need to consider right now, especially at this point in time. So let's check the can I use right here. And this is basically the web browser support that we have for AVIF right now. So it's available in the newest version of Firefox, newest version of Chrome, and not a whole lot else. So this does take out most of the market share, but you do have to keep in mind that Edge does not support it yet, Safari does not support it yet, as well as a lot of different mobile browsers here. Whereas something like WebP has a lot better support. As you can see, AVIF has maybe 69% global market share, whereas WebP will work in 95.77% of browsers. So it just has a lot better support. It's even working in modern versions of Safari. And whereas I recommended using WebP in my WebP video, the support for AVIF just isn't there yet. Now hopefully it will come sooner rather than later, but you definitely don't wanna use this as your main image format. But if you want to, you can use it as a backup. Just make sure to have fallbacks. So have a JPEG fallback in case that their browser can't load the AVIF file. And I did a video about this. If you want to have multiple images and have the browser pick its favorite, I do have a video about this. So if you were to actually use this in one of your websites, it would probably look something like this, where you have the AVIF here at the top. 
if the browser supports it, but if it doesn't, it will fall back to either WebP or if it doesn't even support that, then JPEG. Again, I have a video explaining this if you wanna check that out. But you also have to keep in mind other tools, like you're probably not going to be coding a whole lot of websites by hand like this. So you have to keep in mind that maybe your static site generator, maybe Hugo, or your CMS like WordPress, a lot of these don't support it yet. So I know WordPress and Hugo don't specifically, some of them do, but the tooling is just not as there as something like WebP, where you'll see much wider usage. So if you do want to do this, you might have to run a script that will automatically convert your images for you. And while some of these frameworks and tools, you can download plugins for them, maybe on your website, you just don't want to have three versions of the same image around. If you don't have that much space, then that could be kind of a commitment. And in my opinion, personally, for web performance, I would just focus on the easiest wins first. So if it's something easy to do, like in most cases, adding this WebP right here in most tools is not going to be that difficult. If you wanna check out my WebP video on how to do it. But adding something like AVIF at this point in time is just going to probably be more headache than it's worth. And whereas you are getting a 20% file size reduction on a lot of your images, is it really worth it? Unless you have a really image heavy website where you're just loading in tons of different images it probably isn't going to be worth it for most use cases. It's probably not going to make a huge difference in your blog, just loading in one image for your featured image. So at this point, I would only use it if it really makes sense for you. And in most cases, I would just not use AVIF at this point. Now, hopefully support for this is added a lot faster than something like WebP was, because in order to get to this point for WebP, where it's very widely supported by a whole bunch of different things, it basically took 10 years. And so AVIF is a lot less mature than something like WebP. It's only been around for a couple of years. So hopefully it doesn't take another 10 years to get support for all this. And you never know, maybe I'll make a video in three years or two years, or maybe even next year telling you why you should use AVIF in all your projects from here on. But for now, I just think it's something to be excited about and hope that we can use it in the future, but not personally use it right now.